I'm sure you've all heard of ships disappearing into the night, or of planes dropping off the face of the earth never to be seen again. But what happens when a king mysteriously goes missing? This is the story of the king of Morocco, Muhammad VI, a king who is hardly ever seen, who spends most of his time with a former criminal, and who reportedly spends less than a third of his time in the country he still rules. So who is Muhammad VI? What exactly is his relationship with former criminal Abu Azatar? And where does he go when he leaves Morocco? King Muhammad VI has ruled Morocco for over 23 years and is largely loved by his people. He is credited not only with the stability and economic prosperity of Morocco, but with the historical, political, and social reforms that have modernized Morocco and advanced human rights and gender equality in the country. And Muhammad's influence is not contained to his North African country. King Muhammad is ranked as the sixth most influential Muslim in the world and the fifth richest monarch today with an estimated net worth of two to eight billion dollars. But even as the loved King Muhammad's wealth and fame continue to increase, his appearances in Morocco have greatly declined. Whispers have been spreading that Muhammad is spending less and less time in Rabat, the capital of Morocco, and is instead choosing to spend most of his time in France and other countries around the world. The big question is why? Why is a man of such importance, wealth, and influence disappearing from public view. One theory says that King Muhammad is simply maintaining the strong level of privacy that the Moroccan royals have always demanded. While royals around the world all tend to guard their privacy and try to keep their personal lives away from the public glare, Morocco's royalty are notoriously known for the links they go to to protect their privacy. Unlike kingdoms like the UK, where royal weddings are huge public events broadcast for the world to see, the Moroccan royalty are known for keeping their weddings very secret, with most weddings happening within the palace walls and attended by only close family. The media in Morocco is also subject to government regulations and are generally not allowed to report on the royal family without permission. The Moroccan royals believe that maintaining this level of secrecy around their personal lives maintains their dignity and respect as public figures. So is it possible that King Muhammad's absence from the public stage is nothing more than him continuing the tradition of his forefathers and letting his work and the country's success take center stage? Or is King Muhammad's increased absence the work of something or someone more sinister? Outside the king's love for his country, Muhammad had many passions, and one of them was sports. So strong was his affinity for sports that he heavily invested in sports infrastructure and programs in Morocco and openly supported and cheered on many athletes. One of these athletes was the infamous Abu Azatar. The king's apparent friendship with Abu Azatar has troubled many in Morocco, and with Abu's reputation, it's easy to see why. Abu Azatar was born in Cologne, Germany to Moroccan parents. In his youth, Abu and his brother Otman attended the controversial King Fahd Academy in Germany, a school suspected of having ties to Al-Qaeda. And it was there that the Azatar brothers' violent natures began to manifest. By 2003, local media began referring to the two as the brutal twins, and they faced charges of bodily harm and gang theft in juvenile court. In 2004, Abu was sentenced to two years and three months in prison for attacking a businessman dousing him in gasoline and stealing his Ferrari. Soon after his release in 2006, he was accused of beating up his girlfriend so badly at a Christmas market that her eardrum burst. So how could a man that violent find himself not only rubbing shoulders with a king, but becoming one of his closest confidants? Once again, it goes back to the king's love of sports. In 2007, Abu Azatar and his brother began their careers in mixed martial arts. They excelled in the sport and quickly built a reputation that gave them access to celebrities and the upper echelons in Germany. So when King Mohammed finally met the MMA fighter, Morocco's first national to sign with the UFC, he was immediately drawn. The two brothers quickly became frequent visitors to the palace and were often seen vacationing with the king around the world. 
So close was their friendship that the king gave the brothers permission to renovate one of the king's palaces in Tangiers into a sports club. While those around the king and the political conservative class in Morocco almost unanimously condemned the king's growing friendship with apparent criminals, few have been brave enough to declare their disdain publicly. Perhaps the most daring condemnation came in May 2021, when one of Morocco's most prominent digital newspapers, Hess Press, published an anonymous article listing Abu's extensive criminal history. It was rumored to be an article sponsored by those around the king who were desperate for the king to distance himself from the brothers. But the article has done little to steer the king away from the troublesome two. So are the brothers a distraction to the king? Have the brothers convinced the king that his time is better spent enjoying his wealth around the world and away from the cameras? Are the brothers keeping King Muhammad from his duties as ruler of Morocco? Or are they doing the opposite? Could it be that these brothers, so disliked by some around the king, are the reason the king is even alive to attend any events at all? You see, another theory, that is actually the only theory that the royals and government approve, is that King Muhammad's stints away from the public have been due to his medical complications. While exact details about his medical condition are not publicly known, we do know that, like his father, King Muhammad had heart-related complications and in 2018 had to have a heart operation in Paris. He has also been known to suffer from a recurring eye condition, which has required medical attention in the past. There are some who believe that it is these conditions that have been keeping the king away from the cameras. There are also some who believe that the Azatar brothers have played a significant role in improving the king's health. There are rumors that the brothers have helped the king overhaul his health and have encouraged him to eat more healthy and work out. So if the king's health is improving, why aren't the Moroccan people seeing more of him? There is one more theory. Some believe that the king is slowly losing interest in running the country. There have been rumors that the king prefers to spend more of his time vacationing and indulging in his interest, and less of his time at state events or government meetings. Some say he is increasingly handing over such tasks to other members of the family, like his younger brother, Prince Moulay Rashid, who often represents the royal family at public events and official functions. There have even been some quiet whispers saying that perhaps the king should retire and pass the throne on to his 20-year-old son, Crown Prince Moulay Hassan, who has shown more interest in the affairs of the country and his duty as a future king. It must be stated that the king and the government of Morocco have vehemently denied this theory and have strongly stated that the king is still very committed to his country and his role as ruler. But regardless of the reason, the king continues to spend the majority of his time outside the country of Morocco and largely away from cameras. An official of Morocco estimated that the King Mohammed spends up to 200 days a year out of his country and only attends important diplomatic and government meetings and events. So is King Mohammed's absence in the public life due to his deteriorating health? Has he lost all interest in running his country? Is the king being led astray by the MMA Azatar brothers? And where is Princess Lela, the king's wife, who has not been seen for over five years and is now known as the Ghost Princess?